Hello, this is Kasim Kulov. Today I have a very quick but very useful tutorial for you. I will show you a simple method how you can complete a circle from its arc. So just as an example, I have made three arcs here. So the first thing to do is we will determine if these arcs belong to a circle and if they do, we will try to complete that circle. So if I increase the stroke value of an arc, you will notice that Illustrator for some reason already knows how to find the intersection. So if you think about it, that intersection is the center of a circle. So that's what I'm going to use to determine the circle. But I will not use stroke, I will use offset path because it works in the same manner. So let's use offset path, increase the value until we see that intersection. Use your shape builder tool to cut out that pi piece. Now let's determine if this pi piece is a part of a circle. For that, copy it, paste in front and rotate it from the intersection. Rotate it until it snaps to the point. Now it snaps perfectly and the curve is continuous, which means that indeed this arc belongs to a circle. Now to complete the circle, we could continue on copy and pasting this pie piece, but let me show you a quicker version. Rotate the pie from the intersection until you see that purple line. Draw the circle from the intersection holding down shift and option keys. And there we have our circle. Now let me bring back the arc to its original place and I will also emphasize it with a red color. Now let me repeat the process with the middle arc. Now since it snaps perfectly and the curve is continuous, I can conclude that this arc also belongs to a circle. Now let's see if the last arc will also produce a circle. Now as you can notice, this one is different. The curve's beginning point does not snap with the curve's ending point, which means that the curve is not continuous, which also means this curve is not that of a circle. So it means that this curve might have been drawn organically by hand, or it was drawn from an ellipse, or maybe it was drawn using two circles that have two different sizes. So let me just show you the original shapes that I used to create these arcs. As you can see, our reverse engineering technique was right. The first two arcs were cut out from a circle, while the last one was cut out from an ellipse. So yeah, this was it. Thanks for watching. For more interesting tutorials, do not forget to subscribe.